We've talked about many different kinds of average treatment effects over lots of different subsets of people. So now I want to just talk about the relationship between each one of these average treatment effects because it can be kind of confusing. So let's start by just drawing our entire population of units in this circle. So this is our population of units. If we take the average unit level causal effect for everyone in this circle, that gets us the average treatment effect. That's the average unit level causal effect for everyone. Very important. Now, we're going to split this population into four groups. We've got the compliers over here. We've got the always takers up here. We've got never takers down here. And then the defiers up here. The local average treatment effect is just the average unit level causal effect for everybody over in this portion. This gives us the local average treatment effect. Another way we can split up the population is according to whether people were treated or not. The never takers, they're never going to be treated. So they're definitely not treated. The always takers, they're always treated because they always take treatment. Some of the compliers get treated and some of the defiers get treated. So our population is split into half like this. These are the treated. And then these people down here are the untreated. So over here, these people who are treated and are compliers, these are the people who were assigned to treatment. And these people were the people who were assigned not to be treated because compliers comply. Conversely, for the defiers, the people up here who got treated were the ones who were not assigned to be treated. And the people down here were the ones who were assigned to be treated. But since they defied, they didn't get treatment. So if we take the average unit level causal effect for all of these people, that gives us the average treatment on the treated. Now, if we did it for these people down here, that would give us average treatment on the untreated, or ATU. You can see that treatment on the treated is an average of all these people. It includes some of the people who are in the local average treatment effect. So there's some overlap. But it doesn't include everyone who's in the local average treatment effect. Conversely, the local average treatment effect includes some people who are included in the overall average for the average treatment effect, but it includes some other people who are not. So that's one relationship. Finally, let's suppose that we're looking at the conditional average treatment effect for men as well. So not only can we partition our population according to whether people are treated or not, or whether they're a complier, always taker, defier, or never taker, but we can also split people up into men and women. So in this final circle I'm going to draw, we've got men on the inside and women on the outside. So the conditional average treatment effect for men is just the average of everybody inside this circle. And the conditional average treatment effect for women is the average on everybody outside of the circle. So again, you can see there's a bunch of overlap. Because some men are going to be defiers, always takers, uh, compliers and never takers. And likewise, some women are going to be compliers, always takers, defiers, and never takers. Some men are going to be treated, some men aren't. Some women are going to be treated, and some women aren't. So in general, there, these are the relationships between all of these different kinds of average treatment effects you can think of. The local average treatment effect, the conditional average treatment effect for men, the conditional average treatment effect for women, average treatment on the treated, and average treatment on the untreated, and then the average treatment effect overall.